As soon as we received the word on Louisville's new police chief, we went to community activists in our city to get their reaction. Our Travis Brees is here now. So who did you speak to and what did they have to say, Travis? Brooke, I spoke to Pastor Tim Finley Jr., who is the CEO of ElderServe and who also previously ran for mayor. His phrasing was cautiously optimistic, saying he did have some concerns still on the city not releasing the names of the four finalists who were interviewed. Findlay shook hands with Bill Roel after the press conference today. He said he has had a few short meetings with her, but nothing major to this point. He said as the CEO of ElderServe, the chief can help them by being available and transparent with residents, as well as making true connections when she meets people. We've been promised uh, transparency, and I think today is a, is a day of cautious optimism. You know, we have someone who has been in the job, someone that we want to see succeed, uh, but there are, there are a lot of unanswered questions. Raul Cunningham and the NAACP have been the most vocal about the city not releasing the names of the finalists. He did say he met with the mayor this morning who reiterated that this was the advice of the firm that was conducting the search. Cunningham says he wants to see Bill Roel succeed and he is looking forward to working with her. We'll work with her. We want to know her better and we want her to know us. Back on May 26th, Mayor Greenberg and then Interim Chief Bill Roel released all the case files they could that were related to incidents mentioned in the Department of Justice report. Bill Roel said she personally was going to go back and look through all 62 of those cases and see if any officers needed to be further disciplined.